Hello, and welcome to the Counterpoint Podcast. It's a bit like a tripod, where all three legs are a different height, and the mount is a bit wobbly. You keep it around, telling yourself that you're going to fix it. But really, you just want people to see it and ask you about it, and they'll think, oh, he's handy, he's going to fix that. I'm Brendan, I'm here with Luke. Yes. And Jonathan. Yep. I like our new intro. It's, it's very been erotic. the same. Hold on. Have you not noticed that I say something stupid differently every time? I, you know, I actually I mean, have not noticed that until now. You say something different, stupidly, every time, is what you meant to say. Really, either way works. You didn't say... The th- point is, I if, say if something stupid. if you said stupid. something stupid differently every time, it would be the same thing. <laughs> I'm the only sure. one left alive. This is I mean, a bad I, situation. I feel I do type. say them differently as well. Oh, it's, not it's not the same stupid thing, but I don't think I say them the same way either. I mean, can you say different things the same? Well, I mean, I guess, yeah. yeah. You can absolutely. Anyway, things to talk about. Speaking of something stupid. Great. <laughs> did you guys see the whole fucking Ooblets garbage? No, I don't Ooblets? know what that is. Uh, so it's it's another game that, um, that Epic got an exclusivity deal with. And they posted, like, this really condescending message about it and people like the response was not equal like people sent them like hate threats and you know people have been blowing the extra thing like like getting very very upset about it um but this message like was very patronizing and dickish um and it's just like i i don't understand why you, you want people to give you money and you do the exclusivity because you want money from the company as well that makes sense but why also like put this message that totally is so shitty yeah. against the people that you want to give you the money. Like, you really um, want to be a poo pants, people. you know? Yeah. Like, not not to discuss the merits of taking the exclusive video, because, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter at this point. It's been talked about yeah. infinitely. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see if I can find their message and just read you a little bit. I'm going in. I love you. I don't think that's what they said. I love you too. Well, what's this message about now? So, their game, Booblets, is going to be an exclusive for the Epic Game Store. And... I can't find the, the message. Because I want to get the me. language right, so... I mean, you don't have to, it's not very I'm important. I'm sure I won't care. So, the, okay, so the, the post is titled, We Did The Thing. Um, and then they said, here's what these epic folks are doing. First they teach every kid in the world these obnoxious dances, and now they're offering funding to game developers in exchange for PC exclusivity on the game store. It's exactly what Marx warned us about. Just imagine if other companies got in, in their heads to offer funding in exchange for exclusives. What would be next? Game consoles paying for games to be exclusive on consoles. Netflix paying for Netflix or for exclusive shows. Oh. Newspapers paying for exclusive articles. Thank It'd be like some sort of late capitalist dystopia. <laughs> um, and then they sort of talk about Epic in general. And then they say, you'll have to install, like, what it means for you. You'll have to install Epic Game Store if you want to buy Ooblets on PC. I know that's asking a lot, but I believe in you and your ability to download a free thing and create a user account. If you haven't already done so to play Fortnite, which I know you have, then I'll hold. Smoking time. Mm. So I have a hot take on this. A lot of that. What's up? What's your hot take? Uh, So, he's being an ass. There's like, of course. There's no way around that. It could be a she. Let's not, let's, let's not take this. Okay. They're They're being being an an ass. ass. But I don't well, really think Trump. they're wrong, like with what they're saying. No, no, that's what that's why I said I'm not debating the merits of taking the deal. It's it's fine. If that's it's fine. Point. But the way they went about yeah, it, um, yeah. I think it's wrong. Reason. Like the there's way a, you're addressing the people, people that you way. want to buy your game, that isn't the way you should be talking to them. Yeah. Just rushing. Yeah, they're I mean, being, I think it's being a bit of a poo poo doo doo head there. Get them, Apple, beat them. Wrong way. Get them, astrosity. Get him astrosity. I don't know where he is. I don't want to go after him. Um, and then in other 
at the game news in the wake of these, they, these they, shootings they took it. the past couple days. Um, no, you didn't. Yeah, violence. You. It causes video games. Yeah, it's, oh. it's being blamed on video games again. And Walmart... Well, I mean, when, when has it not been? Well, when they're not white. Yeah. Um, that's okay. true. Quite frankly. <laughs> When All of a, a sudden, shooter, here's the thing: it, it's a terrorist act when it when it happens when they're not white. But when they are white, you know, it's like, well, yeah, how how do we influence this person? You know, that's the only time we actually look at like, how can how can we stop the influence of of violence on children? And it's like, well, maybe they were just a fuckhead. You ever you ever anyway, think of the, that? The, the reason I brought this up is not because of the discussion in general, but Walmart, their response to this. Uh, was not to stop selling guns. It was to take down their displays for video games with violence. You're, you're, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, which is interesting to me. To say the least. No one's watching. Because here's the thing. I've been playing games since I was like, you know, four or maybe younger. I don't remember. Uh, I haven't shot up a school even once. And I would say playing games is a pretty core, like core core identity piece for me. It's kind of what I do a lot of my day, and it's just fucking buck wild. Do you think any sensible people actually believe that though? Like that's not no, no. Well, I don't no, think the problem. I don't think anyone does. But the fact is, that there's so many people crazy. who aren't sensible. Yeah, and they're yeah, listening to can't... Trump as if he's like. He somehow knows something just for being president, and the fact is, he doesn't know shit, and he's just blaming it on video games because the alternate is to actually look at the issue. They always go for anything. Um, it's a straw man. Kind of. Well, no, it, it, basically they're trying to. Have you ever heard the phrase? Uh, really more if you can't convince them, <laughs> then confuse them. Yeah. That's basically what what Trump is doing. That's what his entire presidency has been about. It's about changing I, changing the goalposts at every that makes single it sound opportunity. deliberate on his part? Oh, it is. Uh, I think it is. 100%. I think for his other members of his party and cabinet, it is. I think he's just... No, he's brought it up multiple shit. times. Last, uh, when the one in uh, Vegas happened, he blamed so it on video games down. as well. No, 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 I know. But I think he's just parroting shit. I don't think it's deliberate on his part. I think it's giving him too much credit. Mm. I don't know, I think it's dish. very... Careful window. I think it's... Anyway, it, he can... Know. Listen, they, there's they, things they, that you can just say strategically. It doesn't... I don't think he's completely, you know... On guard? <laughs> I, I mean, don't want to say... He that. literally got the city wrong. Yeah, I know. That was the funniest oh, thing. Right. He said it was Toledo, Ohio, instead of yeah. Toledo. <laughs> But I think he, I think he has Alzheimer's. I mean, there's no denying it. Oh yeah, it. No, he's definitely like early stage. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock someone for having Alzheimer's. But I don't think that they should be president. Yeah, like I'm, I'm not saying like, oh fuck this guy for having Alzheimer's. I'm saying, please don't make this man president. Again. Please don't let this man run a country. Close with a shotgun. Again. It's like you had enough. I guess it wasn't your turn with the brains. Um, Jonathan wanted to talk about our experiences with turning 21. I thought it was timely. Okay, What's sure. I just turned 21. He left, he left on top so, of I guess as the eldest on boy... Right now? Alright, yeah, I had already been drinking changed. for a while. So um, actually, when I turned 21, I stopped drinking a lot. Two, what the... That's, you know, I've heard that a lot from people. Yeah, I mean, it loses the bad boy cool factor. Yep. Yeah. And that's basically how it all went down. Like, when I turned 21, I went on, like, a mini bar crawl to, like, six different bars. I drank a little bit. And I was like, oh. So, it's less cool to go to a bar most of the time. Like, unless you're at, like, an all-inclusive resort, unless you're at, like some place that is specifically like interesting fuck bars they're the worst <laughs> like I'd much rather just stay at home drink for one fifth the price and then on top of that like have only the people who I'm interested in talking to around 
Yeah, the only time I really am okay with going to bars is like when I'm in Ohio, we go to a quiet bar that really nobody goes to. We can just play some pool. Yeah. Um, or karaoke, that can be fun too. No, definitely, absolutely never going to do that. Uh, when I turned 21, I, basically I'm the exact opposite. I hadn't oh, drank at all, and then I drank for the first time the night of my 21st birthday. Um, I sat in this computer chair and drank and played video games with my friends. That's very and exciting. That's, oh, that's what I did. That was my 21st night. I think I threw up that night. I don't remember. <laughs> not, not like it was too drunk to remember. I just, it's been two years and I don't care to remember at all. Yeah. It wasn't an important one. Yeah, that's generally, uh, listen, there's so many things in this life that I've come to, like there's so many different things that are uh, made important. And they're rotating. That are just not important. <laughs> like birthdays yeah I'll celebrate it's, it's, a, it's a reason to sell it's a reason to like have fun and you know maybe give someone a gift but I don't think it's actually important it's just like well wait well, what do you mean by actually important like it's not actually an important thing it's, it's not important in the lightest in the slightest like if I what didn't have your birthdays, birthday isn't important I'm saying anyone's birthday like my own no, birthday Jonathan you're saying your birthday is yeah, no, I mean, like, I'm okay with that. I, I just think, like, but then what is important? Like, what, what do you think is... Yeah, uh, relationships relationship that you share avoid. with individuals. Um, well, I regardless. think that a birthday is part of that relationship. Like, it's kind yeah, of celebrating... Yeah, of course, like, it's a hey, reason, you, you but that's what I'm year. saying. It's a reason exactly. to so get in touch right. with people. It's a reason to yeah. uh, give people <laughs> gifts. But you, I, I actually disagree. The I things... Think. Hold, this is all I gotta say, right? And... The, the, I think the most important gifts that I've ever received in my entire life have been things that were just like you want to rush not They're expected at, in the slightest. Sure. And those are the ones that have stuck with me like, the longest. You know, that I can like remember off the top of my head. Like, I can't tell you. I'm sure, you know, when I got like a Dreamcast and a PlayStation 2, I was like livid, like the happiest person in the world. Like, holy shit, right? Yeah, and like, one, one, like in a good way. But then, that's, but whatever. That's a different word. Though. You know, I was like super psyched. But uh, I remember specifically getting my computer, which was like that was awesome. My mom getting me like, and it, you know, even then it wasn't necessarily like the greatest specs, but it was a lot of money for her to spend. And I remember being extremely excited. Um, but a lot of the uh, the memories that I have, I, I specifically remember the Digimon movie, of all things, just coming home and it was there, and I was like, pumped, like, I don't think I've ever been that, like, grateful Bounce before for a Digimon. gift, and it was, you know, it's just a VHS, but, it's just the VHS. It has the Digimon movie on it. Yeah, which is one of the greatest movies of all time, it certainly has a great soundtrack, and it also certainly has a great two, uh, two parts, <laughs> it's three parts. But it has a great two parts. Oh, gotcha. Which one do you like? The the twin one? The third part. Yeah, so what, the twin did you most? Yeah, yeah, those were kind of lame. That's your great. But the first two parts of the movie were amazing. I don't think anyone can disagree with that. If they do, I'll, uh, I'll disagree with them. I don't actually think I've seen the Digimon movie. If you watch um, Summer Wars, it is literally just a retelling. But with HD, it's Summer Wars. It's a retelling of the first part and the second part of Digimon. The movie. You should watch the Digimon movie. It's great. It has a very '90s soundtrack. Yeah, and it's actually a good '90s soundtrack. A lot of '90s soundtracks are not so good. But anyway, uh, like that really like shook me, and I like was extremely grateful because I got a gift, and it wasn't for any particular reason. That's what all birthday gifts have. No, like. A birthday gift, you're, you're getting it because it's your yeah, birthday. Yeah, they have a reason. Yeah. I disagree. But getting something for no reason, you know, I, I cherish those things more than, you know, like, a birthday gift. Although I love, you know, obviously I no think one... That's, I think that's fair, but at the same time, it's like, I didn't find it wrong. A gift is a gift. Yeah, but like, I... you could you could have celebrated anything, like, the first time you jerked off. Why not that? Instead of, like, uh, uh, whatever the thing is where they like baptize you or something you know 
baptism. <laughs> no, but like, I don't know. Like the other ones, like the coming of ages, the quinceaneras, and all those things. Like they're basically. You know, I mean, everything's just an excuse to either exactly. celebrate it. It's, it's a, an excuse to party, exactly. Yeah, but like, actually that's like every parties. holiday. Excuse to eat and party. You yeah, I mean exactly. And I mean, like, that's awesome. But like, when it's made ceremonial is when I kind of stray away from it. Like, if I ever get married and I've talked to my girlfriend about it, if we ever get married, it will be, like, extremely small. And there will not be a ceremony, most likely. Just because I think they're dumb. I I don't mind having like the 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 post reception like with the family get yeah that's great I love that. I'm part of that I yeah I don't want like a big ceremony I do not want a priest who has oh, never been a part of my life uh, just yeah. parroting the exact same thing that I've heard in like the sixty weddings that I've had to go to in my life yeah that's why I kind of want to just, like ask a friend to get ordained to be like yo you want to do this for me yeah I feel like that'd be way cooler. And it's not difficult to get ordained. Like, you just yeah. literally pay money, and a lot of people just do it right then and there. I, well, I forget there was, a, there was a show where they were like, you know, this man was ordained as a minister at 12 years old. And he was like, ah, oh, that's because it's really hard yeah, to be a minister, know. right? And they just oh, looked at him. Me on mid. My pen, my pen. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm not big on parties That's at all. I, I actively dislike them. Like I feel like when I die, I want to have a party. Like, then I'm, of course, dead. I don't think I mean, you can wait, have a party. I don't I think that you're going to care either way. <laughs> no, 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 I will. Like, I, like knowing if I'm dying, like, ah, they're going to have a sick-ass party instead of, like, a, a buttoned-up, like, affair. Well, know? here's the thing with me. I would say that, but at the same time, it's like, a funeral isn't supposed to be for you it's supposed to be for the people who care about you to... yeah so i'd rather them get fucking drunk and just have a good I, time but it doesn't matter what you want for them it matters what they want for them yeah but fucking I mean, that's like that's think. coming out of my like life insurance and shit that's what's right, fucking right. happening like <laughs> i'm getting everyone drunk or high or both like that's what's going to happen that's in your will yeah that's gonna be in my will like everyone needs to drink do you have a will no, I'm young. <laughs> I don't know. But if, if I had to, I think when I'm forty, I'll make a will. I had to write not like a will, but uh, I got life insurance and I had to like yeah. put on beneficiaries. Yeah, I did yeah, that too, and then that's right. like any job will usually get you some low amount of life insurance. Go be right. <laughs> But yeah, like, before coming into this room, you need to at least have a blood alcohol rating of, like, 0.03. Oh, speaking of that, I actually bought a, a back tester. Really? Yeah, a little shitty one. Um, it, it was, like, $30. It seems fairly accurate. I mean, I wouldn't trust it with, like, anything important, but I don't have any yeah. important reason. I would it. never, do, like, if I drink at all, I don't drive, so it's fine. Yeah. Like, I could have, like, I just, I just got it for fun, because I was like... I wonder what my back is when I feel certain ways. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's been interesting to, like, see. The, the highest I clocked was 0.15, I think. Damn. Like, it's not good. Is, is 0.15, like, real bad, or is that, like, just That's, real like, bad? twice okay. over the legal limit. Really. I'm not, like, right, it's okay, not yeah. death, but, like, it is not yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, I think it was 0.15. That was that was like the night that I was specifically testing it, so I kept getting progressively more drunk just to see where it was at. Yeah, you is know what's the funny? Most drunk you've ever been? Is on those back tests. Oh, from what I hear, you can like just pound like a gallon of rum, and it won't show up for like ten minutes. Is that true? Yeah, you're supposed to do it fifteen to twenty minutes after you drink, because especially if the vapors are on your breath, it'll. Yeah. Do you know like that's actually why? Uh, and this is Ohio law. I'm not sure about anywhere else. But Ohio law, they have to wait 15 minutes before they breathalyze yeah. you. And if they because otherwise you, you could read zero if you just had a drink. Yeah. So, but here's a funny tip: if they don't actually do 15 minutes, it, the test is completely invalid on your end. Oh. So if they do it at like 14:30, then if they get you for you know driving drunk. Pushing test. Pushing test. You can say, well, you know, it was at 14:59, so. Doesn't count. 
15 is like the minimum too. Like the instructions yeah. I saw on everyone I was looking at on Amazon said 20. Watch him behind you. Yeah. Fuck. Um, I mean, like, how many how many minutes or hours does it take for that shit to wear off? What alcohol? Is insane. I mean, it depends on how much you're like consuming water and going to the restroom and stuff like that. Yeah, but like, what what is it? And the BAC body. probably says on it. What? It probably says on it like how many hours it takes. I don't know how many hours does it take for it to wear off. I mean, it depends on. Obviously, it depends everything. on the person and the fat level. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I I couldn't answer that question, my dude. BMI or something. No one's watching. No Russian. Oh, somewhere. there's okay. another thing I want to talk about. Okay. <laughs> uh, before we you know, sort of rebooted this podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, the last episode we did was episode 14. Um, did you, do you know what the description of episode 14 said? What? Uh, something roughly to the effect of, sorry, it's been a while, we've both been busy with a lot of things, but we're going to try to get back to doing this regularly. Oh, the one before the I started joining? Yes. And then we the didn't do it again for... <laughs> no, it was longer. It was like two to three years. Yeah, I think it was two. I think it was like, basically it was E3 two years ago to E3 this year. Hmm. Which I just thought was funny. How out of touch with cool. ourselves we were. But we're back now. Other than the last yeah. two weeks. But... Yeah. There's a lot going Hooray. on. Hooray! J-Boy went, went to Cancun and Luke went to... Kings yeah. Island. Other places too, but it's whatever. I went. I, I went, went to right. see J Boy. He wasn't home. There was like a party outside, and some guy was like looking at me weird. Hmm? I Why just had to stop weird? by. I don't know. Some guy. You had like eight cars in your uh, so thing. Was I wait? When was this? It was a day that I got the thing, and I was like, I delivered it to you. Wait. I don't remember what you're talking about. What thing? Well, you weren't there, brand. so it'd be hard for you to remember. Oh. Yeah. Where was I? Was I at work? Probably. I'm always working. It must be so tough for you to always be working. How many hours yeah, a week whatever. do you work? Uh, well, I work this week. It's pretty much 11 every day, and it's all uh, every day until the 27th. Did you say it's pretty much 11 every day? Every pretty day? Pretty much. Pretty much. What, what do you mean by 11 okay. every day? But you work 11 every day 11 every day. Sure. I've worked 11 hours today. I worked 11 hours yesterday. I worked 8 hours the day before that. And you then I worked 11 time? hours the day before that. No. Nope. Alright, so... It's a, real, it's a real shitty job, but Remember hey. when I was like, Oh, I can get you hooked up with like 30 an hour, but it's part-time. And you were yeah, like, the Nah, dude, just, the hours are just shitty. not good. And you're like... They're really bad. Now I don't mind this job at all. Here's the thing. According I get to, to you, you're working 77 hours. Yeah. A week. Have you started listening to my brother, my brother, and me yet? No, I haven't made it through Critical Role. I'm still working my way through that. I'm almost listen, actually caught up. Listen to my brother, my brother. I really want to because like I, I've actually I realized that I I've, I've listened to them before on Polygon, and yeah. they are yeah. they're hilarious. They're just funny people. They are very funny. That's only two of the Macaboys. There's a surprise other Macaboy for you. There's another Macaboy. Yeah, there are three. Oh and actually, gosh. if we're talking about Adventure Zone, their dad's on it. That's three Macaroys. Wow. Or four, sorry. I can do math. <laughs> wow. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but... I, I listen to podcasts uh, all day at work, too. There is a podcast called My Brother, My Brother, and Me. It is no surprise that it is three brothers. What? Uh, wow. And that's, they that's give like advice. That. Do they smoke crack? They don't, oh. to my knowledge. I don't, I mean, what I don't know them personally, advice? so... <laughs> <laughs> they could smoke. It's crack. just a podcast I listen to. Hmm. They tell me with one cross it. That's pretty good. <laughs> Great flash. That was me. Uh, if you're familiar with Hamilton, Lin Manuel Miranda also listens to the podcast and slipped in some references. My like, yeah. Anyway, Hamilton's really great, by the way. Just is, just repping yeah. Hamilton. Jonathan, you like music and acting. I do. I like Hamilton. I like kind of fallen out of love with um, plays though. Ever since I stopped being in plays, 
I, like I used to just like watch them for fun and listen to soundtracks for fun. I don't really do that anymore. I feel like that's very like a play thing. Like I mean, I kind of miss it. If you're not like in the scene, I feel like it's significantly less interesting. I don't know. I'd still go see plays, but only if I knew people in it, or yeah. if it was like Broadway. But Broadway is expensive, so it's like it's kind of it's like a weird like I'm interested but not interested enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a lot like art, huh? I've only well, I'll go seen to, I'll go one to the play, play, like live. Yeah, but you're going to a museum. I mean, that's like that's the like watching done. a movie or watching like a recording of the play. What? Wait, wait. What are you talking what? about? Do you watch artists? <laughs> Have you been to a museum? They paint? Have you? Winter is coming. Have you been? Uh, to like an exhibit of like a friend who is making his own art. That's I don't museum. have any. I mean, I guess I guess they do call it. That, that's an art exhibit, not like really a museum. Yeah, but what and I'm and saying I also is don't like, have any friends that. If you're in the art, you can stop right there, Jonathan. Yeah, you can stop right there, yeah. buddy. <laughs> yeah, good, good call. Thank you. Thanks. But all I'm trying to say is, man, I've really shown my cards today. I, I told everybody I was in theater. A what? I don't have friends. Here's the thing, Jonathan. None yeah. of us are in high school anymore, so no one's gonna give a shit that you're in theater. Yeah, like, and cool, also, no hobby. one. No, no, no I was talking about with friends. the friends joke. I was trying to tack on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but, but no one actually, has theater kids sure. definitely have more friends. Oh, That's really? true. Yeah, they have to stick together. So they don't then it home. really shows that I don't have any. Well, <laughs> you didn't stick together. It's very sad. Yeah, no. Well, I went out to California, so. Yeah. yeah. You abandoned them. It was you. They hate them. you now, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Fuck them. I remember the day you abandoned me. Actually, I have no idea when you moved to California. Yeah, it was, it was a while ago. Also, like, it was kind of a slow process. We didn't really, like, move. move. Yeah, you, you traveled between a lot. Yeah. yeah. That must have been I'm, I am still amazed my family did that. Like, I mean, your, your family's income is pretty stable. Right? It wasn't. It only so. became really stable once my dad became a trucker rather than a uh, package car driver. Watching Before this guy. I don't know how grandma travels all the time. Well, she, you know, she's got money from grandpa in, like, retirement. Because they're know, from a different age. Uh, yeah, I know. We, we won't well, get that nice social sense. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know, he, he gets a check from, well, he got a check, which means grandma gets a check from the train company or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think she actually, she took his instead of hers. Yeah. Because that's an option. Yeah. Speaking of money, uh, this is actually a topic I wrote down two weeks ago before we did that podcast. Um, do you guys ever have a thing where, like, you have an idea of something you want to do or a hobby or something like that, and you don't get into it because of, of our financial input? Yeah, on all the time. Like, even, oh, if, yeah, even, it's, even if it's not a lot, like, even just a little bit, you're like, hmm. 100%. I yeah. think that that's just, like, that's a. It's a barrier to entry. It's what separates people who really want to do something from not. And I feel like in some cases it helps, some cases it hurts. I've literally, like, I have done so much prep work on things and, like, pre-programming and looking into stuff on things I want to do. And then I do not do them. Yeah. Because I'm like, ooh, I'd have to spend, like, $50. Also, time. Time is another one with yeah. that, where it's like... I have plenty of time. I mean, I, I do, like, oh, you know, yeah. I work eight hours Monday through Friday, but then I, I do fuck all for the rest. I play video games for the rest of the day, basically. I feel that, I though. I stream and do whatever I want. Like, I don't have a lot speaking of... of which, agents. Speaking of which, Jonathan, yeah. when you build that computer... You know, I have a problem with spending money. Like, I didn't realize how big of a like actual problem it was until now, because, like, this is something that like I want to do that I've saved up money specifically for and that I've like made plans on doing yet I just won't spend the money. Well, I don't know. What you know it is. that that can be a good thing. But what I'm trying to say is if you go to a micro center, you come down here, you go to micro center and we can get you a hell of a deal. You sound like you work at micro center. He does. I think I think he does and he hasn't told us. <laughs> I, I keeps, would like to work at He Microsoft. keeps talking to me about Micro Center. You need to reach out to and Micro I don't, Center and I don't even have a Micro Center near me. 
I would take a pay cut to work at Micro Center. Not like a large pay cut, okay, but like I'll send a dollar or two. With the timestamp. Honestly, you should. Like, we are a, a Micro Center ad. Like, Luke is like, oh, you could go to Micro Center. Get this. I don't fucking have a <laughs> Micro Center within a thousand miles. Check this out. I just got a 5700, which, in case you don't know, is like twice as good as a 480, 580 for $250. You know, for 5600. I don't know what you're talking about, but for $250, which I don't even need it really. I just wanted to have my downstairs computer hooked up so that I could like play games or if someone came over, you know, we could both play computer games. Is that like a euphemism for the one you do all your porn on? No, the downstairs, downstairs computer is like the computer that is located downstairs that I use uh, when I'm like sitting on the couch. It's pretty boring actually and it does host my plex server so a lot of my like movies and stuff are on there but what is plex plex is a server that hosts like movies and stuff wait a server that hosts movies yeah it's your own person like you run the like server. your home movies yeah like it's a home movie server no not just home movies like obviously if i rip a blu-ray really confused as to what you're your downstairs movies like Blu-ray movies. So it's like you just have all your movies downloaded onto a server? Yes. You say your movies. And that I mean implies movies. ownership. Yes, and that is exactly correct. I do not sign a license to uh, when I put a Blu-ray movie in, you do not have a license. You, you own it. So you're able to rip movies that you legally buy. That, oh yeah, as long as you don't sell them. I'm pretty sure even if you sell them. Oh, what? That doesn't make it. You can't sell them nothing. Generally, game. resale is a crime. <laughs> <laughs> so That's just, like, in general of, like, everything. Well, it's I not that it's actually a, a crime. Legally, I couldn't buy a tube of I, I'm pretty sure that's no, just it, actually a crime. <laughs> if it's a yeah, use, it, but, like, no all right. This. Let, let me, I literally, I can't on. buy a tube of Pringles and resell. Let me put it this way. If Sonic the Hedgehog says right on it. I don't know if you know this, but it says right on it. Not for resale. Right. Selling it, it's not a crime. I'm going to Amazon right now and buy a used copy of Sonic the Hedgehog that has not for resale all over it. it no, just but that's because not, like... It's not like a yeah, that's food. different though. Like, <laughs> but there's a reason you're... why you don't resale food. You're like you're, you're not an FDA. You're not like a for example, you can't resell alcohol because Hold on, these these are different instances though. It's regulated. In one you're selling a used copy, in the other you are redistributing this movie. Yeah, you're not redistributing it. You just said if you ripped it and sold it. No, I ripped it. created another copy. No. But yes, I also don't sell Blu-rays. That, that's what you just said. That's what we were yeah, talking about. Yeah, but I don't. About. I do not sell Blu-rays. I know, we're not saying you do, but that was the hypothetical that you posed. Because I was like, yeah, you can't sell them though. And but you're even like, then, actually, you totally could. I'm definitely going to be touring soon if all this fucking streaming shit goes through, like to way, 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 like I'll look for shit that I can't find. And I think, like morally, if you try to be like, well, you shouldn't see the things that you can't find anywhere is kind of a shitty like you're probably wrong and if you buy something used it doesn't matter there was the whole uh there was the whole business about um what was it like key resellers where it's actually worse to buy from a key reseller than it is to well, yeah, actually like pirate steal credit cards and fucking uh, because it's actually stolen and then it causes them to pay for basically copies yeah. that they, they never actually uh, received in profit. It's the same yeah. thing for used. Like, when people go like, oh, well, I'm supporting... I don't know. When people buy, like, a used... Uh, I don't know if... You probably don't remember, but, like, people used to have those bumper stickers in, like, late 2000s that were like, you buy... You have a Toyota? You're part of the problem. Buy American. And it's like, well, your car is... I 100% know this person bought a used car. So it's like, all right, you're buying, like, this, and I know you're not, like, replacing it with OEM parts because those are expensive and you bought a used car. Like, you suck. Like, this is bullshit. <laughs> but anyway, it's I, the same I thing. I do not have a horse in this race. I couldn't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm just saying. 
If you buy something used, you're basically pirating it. If you buy something used, you're a terrorist. <laughs> according How to uh, according to capitalists, yes. Well, according to capitalists, like, uh, there's a lot that's wrong if you do anything that's not in their best interest. Yeah, if you're not like making them money, you're a criminal and should die. kind of how it works. I mean, the whole system is based around making money. Yeah, so if you're not, and like, making the them money, though, if you're making money, fuck you. Until you make enough money, until you can influence with money. That's usually how it works. No, that's not really a problem with capitalism so much as it's a problem with people. Mm. It's the way it's regulated, so... Well, yeah, but that's because that's cause people suck. Yeah, but it's, it's the same thing with communism. Like communism has an idea. Yeah, it's great. People but suck. People suck, so it doesn't work. Yeah, it's the same. It worked. I mean, as long as there's regulation, but there's not. So fuck it. Fuck you welcome all. To, welcome to the world. Like life, life boils down. People but suck. anyway, listen here. You don't have to spend a lot of money to have a huge upgrade. Uh, Brendan, no, I know. I know, the thirty-six hundred. He's I, he's probably gonna buy also, one. Also, the things that you've sent me. I can totally afford. Like I said, I put money aside. Yeah, like because you already. Yeah, if you already have the money aside, fucking buy your computer. Yeah, just power. do but it. Just especially, like... especially when it's something that you spend time. Like if you, if you legitimately don't spend any time playing video games or using this computer, <laughs> uh, unless it's because the computer sucks so bad that you can't, it's worth investing in. And yeah, the like... only thing for me is like my computer right now can just it can do everything that I need it to. Mm. So like when I had Luke, until I fun, like, you, want to play a game that I can't play, it's gonna be really hard for me to like convince myself. I mean, here's the thing: though, like if I was using shit. yours, I would say right now, like I can't use this. But here's the thing, Jonathan: you do a weekly podcast where we're constantly looking for more games to play. Okay. And then you're like, oh, I can't play this. So. What? No, no, no. The only reason right, I would say I can't. Play I think is you don't I have can't enough storage. To buy it. Yeah, but like nine times out of ten, when you buy a new graphics card, they give you a free game. Actually, what? if you buy uh, one of the AMD CPUs right now, you get three months of Xbox. Yeah, I just got that actually. Yep. So. so they just bought a thirty-six hundred. Yep. So you would. Uh, you would so have... yeah, if you bought a CPU, you'd get Game Pass, and if you bought a GPU, you'd probably get some Bethesda game, honestly. Well, yeah, Nvidia. If you bought a Nvidia GPU, if you bought an yeah. AMD, you get another three months of Game Pass, and oh, if you go shit. to Micro Center, you get. This is how it works, right? If you buy a CPU... Can we stop fucking talking about Microsoft? No, no, no. Once, I'm just, until, until they, they give pay us, us, until until they they give us money to talk us. about them. No, it's worth it because it's such a good deal. So listen, if you buy the CPU, you get $50 off the motherboard. I'm going to send Micro Center. If you, buy, if you buy a GPU and the CPU, you get $50 off the GPU, which is $100 saved right there. Like, that's fucking good. Can you at least search for the game? What game? For... For the next game. Hold on. You have it readied up. The fuck? Alright. <laughs> yeah, no, so like when I when I was when I asked Luke to help me build my first PC, I spent like most of my money on it because it was where I was dedicating my time. But see that's the thing, is I don't think I want to dedicate my time Right, on but I'm my I'm not saying right spend now. all of your money. I'm saying if you already have money squirreled away and it won't Unduly effective. And it's literally. And you them. are spending some time. Why not? Yeah, I you know. You spend money where you spend time. That's why people say like buy a nice bed because you spend eight hours a night. Or um, shoes. Or the fuck. I don't take that advice, but I also like. Oh, I took that advice. It's worth it. Sleep eight hours a night. I work. You, you know, what? I got a king size because uh -oh. dog, girlfriend, and me. So. Wait, is this? Casual. This is casual. No, it's not casual. This yeah, is you casual. Can, no, this is death match. It's not your... casual. Oh. There's a difference. I didn't want to... Well, another game would have been another hour, so... Has it been an hour? I don't know. You have a fucking it's OBS program that tells you 41 minutes. Team sucks. Uh -oh. You know, so... How do I mute everyone? Is there a button for that? I wish. I haven't found it. <laughs> I just have voice volume like way fucked down. I have a I caster, have music volume, enable voice. What else do we want to talk about? 
We have a lot I mean, of we stuff haven't run it. Yeah, we haven't we haven't run dry on the stuff we've been anyway, talking about. But anyway, we're still talking about the fucking computer. Okay. You buy your computer. The end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean even even like if you don't get like insane deals, the prices on the computer parts have finally just gotten reasonable again. Like it's been really bad for a while and I've been telling you like don't buy a computer, basically. Or if you do buy a computer, don't buy a graphics card because prices are bad. And like finally prices are not bad. Anyway. Like, like, how many how many hours a week would you say you play on your computer? Uh or use, or use your computer. On a week? Probably yeah. like twenty six. That's like that's a pretty good chunk of time. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a day out of a week. Well, like, actually, I don't know if it's that high because it's probably not that high right now. Well, it's not oh, going like, to be that high. Once you get back to semester. school, no, it's not going to be because I'm going to be at uh, the way my classes are spread out. It's like honestly terrible. I'm there super early and I'm there extremely late. I'm like not going to be able to be home. Bring your computer. What are you just yeah, going to like quit there. the job you have right now and then done? Yeah, that's well. That's here's the, the here's the thing, and hours. this is a little tip. Like uh, this is the tip. This is the advice I uh, tell everyone if they're looking into like gaming PC or or gaming laptop is just buy a really cheap laptop. Like buy an extremely. No, I have a laptop. Yeah, yeah. I have a laptop. And you know what? If it works, it works. You don't really need a lot. Most of the time, class is like you know. Does it go to this website? Does this website work? Like. You know, does it boot up fast? That's the only thing that matters. Like, if you have a laptop, if you have a cheap one, even if it doesn't have an SSD, just throw an SSD and you're done. Like, my laptop that I still use from time to time is 10 years old. I have no reason to upgrade. I don't know, if you, if you get your PC, I can, like, recommend you decently fun games that aren't terribly expensive. Yeah, I mean, you and could, I, you could get I feel like a lot of the reason, and th th this is, this oh, is yeah. honestly 100%, I believe this, maybe I'm wrong, but you say you play a lot of indie games. Oh, yeah. And I'm not saying that, you know, have you heard of Kingdom Come Deliverance? Don't I buy that. Heard of no, it, I really like it, but seen don't anything buy. About it. I really like it. But listen, right now, it will not run on your computer at all. Like, and if it does, okay. it will be a complete slideshow. It is an indie but game. But am I like, am I sitting here like really wanting to play that game? No. Well, that's that's my big thing. This is, like, is there's this not the a thing, single though. game that I can't play on my computer that I. You you would, would like Risk of Rain too? You would like Astro New Year? What can I not play Risk of Rain? I bet you I could. I don't know. I don't but know what be... I don't know what the specs are for your computer. Honestly. It's an FX 6300, eight gigs of RAM. So it's it's serviceable as like maybe for another six months but i'm telling you by the end of this year five years ago. yeah 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 <laughs> and the only reason he got that one is because when he was like oh i'm gonna buy a computer he was like i only have i don't remember how much exactly it was seven. but i was seven no it wasn't that what you told me <laughs> i no, remember I think that's what it started at and then you were like no that you can't get anything no i that. think you said 300 and then i said 500 what no. I'm almost positive of that. And then later I you ended, ended up. ended at 700. I don't know. At first, I'm pretty sure you said like 350. And I was like, listen. And I specifically remember, I was like, when I built Brandon's computer, when we first I spent like. 800, I think? No, you spent real. You went real cheap, dude. It was like. Oh, no. The first, first version was, yeah, 350, 400. And, then and I, I remember more. just being like, and it was a pain in the ass. And I would never, like, recommend someone build with that little amount anymore because... I mean, it worked out. Yeah, but, like, did it fail? No. So, the the reason I could do it so cheap is you gave me your graphics card. Yeah, yeah. But, at the same time, like, didn't it end up having a bad power supply at some point? Uh, the motherboard was shit. I bought a shitty MSI motherboard. But didn't the power supply also die and then we had to, like, go buy the, one with The motherboard killed the power supply. Really? Yeah. Radio oh. killed... Or no, what is it? Video killed the radio. But anyway, don't add me. Um, I don't make the rules. All I'm trying to say here is, if you have the money, and I'm telling you right now, even even indie games that don't require almost any are going to look um, like they're going to look. I think you guys play. are kind of forgetting like the original point that I was making was I'm not opposed to getting an upgrade. I want to get an upgrade. I just like. There's something Actually, stopping me, and I can't, like, I can't... How, how much you have scrolled away right now? Huh? 
How much do you have my... scroll away? I have computer. like. So I like. You don't have to I... tell us all your savings, but just tell us how much you have. Yeah, saved. specifically for the computer. For the computer, I have um like a thousand. Okay. Yeah, you need so... like seven hundred. That's it. Here, here's what I'd say. Spend some of that money on games you think you might want. Risk of Rain 2, Ash of Miracle looks fun. And see how they run. And if you have to turn down the settings, it might help you convince It's you. not even turning down the settings, it's the frame rate a lot of the time. And well, yeah, I mean, either way, if, if it doesn't run ideally... But the thing is, this is this is kind of the problem. It's the same thing with, like, the games that do run. It'll be like, oh, yeah, they're running. And I see this a lot on, like, a PC game gaming forum that I'm on where people are like, well, I still have an original i7 and it runs great. And I'm like, I mean, like, because he's looking at average frame rates and I'm saying, well, I mean, yeah, it's only a little bit worse on average frame rates, but as soon as you look at 1% lows, which is how much the game is chugging and stopping and chugging and stopping, as soon as you look at those numbers, it's terrible. Like, it's basically unbearable. So it's not like... And the thing is, they they don't really know. They just think games run like that. And I'm, I'm like, just saying, spend a little uh, bit, find some games you want to play, see how it feels. That's fair. I don't Maybe know if there's like, uh, that's another. Th I, right now, I don't. Risk of rain too, my dude. The, but I don't have time. You right got now. surviving Mars on your computer right now. How did that run? Uh, don't play it. <laughs> but I have no desire to play it. Bet you'd run like shit. Okay. But, like, that's every new game. So, of course, like, and I, I hear this a lot, too, of, like, well, you know, I don't I don't play anything new. But the reason why you don't play anything new is because it doesn't fucking run. That's not like, true that's, at all. The yes, it I don't play is. Anything new. No, the reason I don't play anything new is because I don't buy anything new. Because I don't, like, have anything that I don't want. What, what time do you go to bed? Uh, like, 11 or 12. So you get up work at, like, 8? Yeah. You got, you got time. You eat, you shower, you eat, and it's, like, 9. You play yeah. some games for like two hours. Yeah, that's how it normally goes. There we go. But like, I want to play a game to like unwind. So usually I go to like a. Uh, I don't know. Like I couldn't unwind with an game. FX sixty three hundred. That's all I'm saying. I'm not <laughs> asking you to spend like Honestly, a fuck Honestly, I usually just play. I know. I know. I'm not against you on this. I promise. I'm just gonna buy some like... games. Maybe. Okay. Try it out. Buy some See games. Uh. That was a, it's Wednesday night, dudes. Yeah, reference from but the game. experience, <laughs> even on the games that you currently play, is going to be better. I, don't, I'm, I, I know it is, but here's the thing. It's like, do I want to ruin having, like, you know, because right now I can handle it. Like, I don't mind. But then if I get the upgrade, then I'll never be able to go back. And then That's fine. It, you have any those piece things. Of my computer is, like, shitty. Yeah, yeah, but that's why we get good parts. Like, specifically... As Trust soon me, as I started, your computer being shitty longer than you think. I've okay. been dealing with this fucking IMC issue for however yeah. long now. And who knows if that will even fix it? It could be something else. Here's hope. But here's the deal. Okay, let's let's get away from convincing nah, me. To we're not even convincing you anymore. I'm I'm just. Yeah, you're already <laughs> sold. You just don't yeah, know it. Yeah, okay. that's the fact. But how do I put it? Is is as soon as I actually started like spending good money on like the parts that don't increase performance, I never never once ran into an issue where my shit stopped working or there ever was even an inkling that those parts were gonna stop working. Like when you get an expensive motherboard and the quality of all the parts in them, the quality of those capacitors, the quality of the uh, the VRM, like so much higher you never have to worry about it failing well uh, you know there's always like a point zero 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 one percent chance like you could just get a lemon but the the chance that like a forty dollar motherboard is gonna fail compared to like even a hundred and forty dollar which is like mid-range is night and day like a uh, forty dollar is going to fail like, and if it doesn't fail, it's going to fail very slowly and, like, reduce performance. Same with the, especially a power supply. Anyway, I think we're about at time, probably. Maybe. I don't know. You are literally the yeah, person who knows. We're at, we're at 51 minutes. 
We, we got we got nine minutes. Yeah, we got nine minutes. Okay, Eight fine. minutes. So, is there anything we wanted to talk about? You know, maybe we should end it because that was a good ending point. Or we should just talk about endings for like nine minutes. We could just Jeff talk about ending. Yeah. What's a good ending like to a movie? Yeah. Death? A I good ending a good is ending. one that uh, it's a ending. isn't exactly what is expected, but the you know it's it's well peppered. I guess you could say seasoned. You know, it's spicy. Well, it, you like a spicy ending. I like a a spicy ending. Uh, but again, the trail of the seasoning is spiced throughout. Like spice, spiced. Yeah, you're using some strange words right now. I mean, that's not a word. He did no, just make that up. Yeah, but don't worry. That'll be a word in like 40 years. You gotta pepper it, sprice it. Yeah, when this podcast it. takes off and people go into the annals of history to this episode. Yeah, it'll be like Shakespeare, yeah. Now you're thinking. <laughs> but. You'll be like, how did he know sprice was gonna be a thing? Yeah. I mean, that's a I don't, big I don't think. I don't think it'll be he knew. I think it would be the other way. Start yeah, people would just say it ironically. Shakespeare, is like, Shakespeare didn't predict the future with words. People predict? just read Shakespeare and... What? You just said predict. Right? Yes. Mm. I don't know what you said. Instead happened. of predict, you said predict. I said predict. Oh, you got him. You got him. Oh, I got him. I got him. I didn't say per, I said pre. No, too late. He got so you. You got so God. <laughs> Okay. It's a, it's a dangerous world out there. Don't get got. <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyway, Shakespeare you got got to was it some seer. He, he <laughs> made up words that people used. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like Shakespeare. I know, but Jonathan said, making up how words. did he Fuck it. see it coming? Do you know Just, there's a really fucked yeah. up word in Russian? I learned this, uh, like, multiple sources. But, uh, there's a word in Russian that means, like, to have sex with your daughter-in-law because your son is at war and it's like an actual word why it, do they have a word for this is because so it happened <laughs> like a lot <laughs> apparently <laughs> that's what i was about to say i was like it didn't just happen it happened too much <laughs> like i mean we have that whole army wives things where they sleep with their brother-in-law right what what i've never heard uh, of isn't that. there isn't that like a constant thing that? where guys go to war and then like the, the, the wife is like, oh, I, I need to be consoled, and then they have an affair. Like, that's a very common thing. Yeah, but not like with I, their brother-in-law. I don't think specifically with the brother-in-law. I think that's, I think actually, that's probably... actually pretty common. I think. He just I mean, like, that out of all the people, I'd say that's it. probably, like, the least likely, because the number one people who are probably going to tell probably a brother-in-law. So if they're, like, wanting to keep it, like, under wraps, they probably just go to a bar or something. I don't know a lot of people that are eager to talk about their affairs. Yeah, but like, if you go to like Reddit... No, no, I mean, here's what's gonna happen. He's gonna come back from war, and he's gonna be like, Oh my gosh, man, I haven't seen you in forever. Like, I love you, like, we're brothers, man. I had sex with your wife. Yeah, instantly. That's how people work. Yeah. Yep. They tell their right. secrets. <laughs> but anyway... And that's the word for word. I'm saying it, it does happen quite a bit, but I don't think it necessarily... Yeah, I mean, just... I'm not saying we have a word for it. I'm just saying it happens. Yeah. But we there should be a word. What should the word be? Bryce. See? They got Sprice. <laughs> they got <laughs> Sprice. Sure. Specifically what it means. There's no denying That should be the name of this episode. should be Sprice. Mm, I don't know about Are, Is that. one of us going to sleep with our brother's wife when they go off to war? No, it's so that we know that we invented this price. Because none of us have brothers going off to war. I mean, you don't even have a brother. <laughs> Why does this have to do? I mean, with usually those words, words that Wait, are you just created. said. Hold on, you just said that's the word and what it means. So what do you mean? What does this have to do with it? No, I said we should name the episode Sprice. Right, but like, it unless you plan to develop that. a brother and sleep with his wife when he goes off to war, we it, it should be Sprice, not Sprice. Ugh. A spricing did not happen. Uh, Unless you plan to create one. But listen, this <laughs> okay. is very important. Okay, so most words, when they're created, uh, it's created based on the context. Like, I'm, I'm sure you may know, uh, um, anni no, not annihilation. No, annihilation. Talk about that I'm sure you may know is a wild sentence. I'm sure you may know 
<laughs> Annihilation <laughs> and the meaning, like what what that was exactly. I think you're. I think you're about yeah. to. I think you're about to explain okay, annihilation. Sure. And give us the definition of destiny. So annihilation, <laughs> not the definition, but the annihilation. The word basically, it's a place, and guess what happened? That she got people fucked. Got and it's kind of like when people are like, oh, pull the Jonathan! Like, dropping a plate or something. If you've dropped a plate before and, like, people are fucking with you. But, like, okay. they're just like, fuck. Like, let's say you just got, like, your ass kicked and people are like, wow, they just got Jonathan. <laughs> like, Okay, so... So, what we've incorrect. learned here is anything bad that happens to you... Everything you just said... I'm pretty sure was it was. Wrong. That happens a lot. Like Annihilate words. means reduced to nothing. It is a past participle... That's, I didn't say the word Annihilare. I didn't say the word meaning. I said there look is, up the There was not a place word. called Annihilation. Look up the etymology. It comes from a Latin word. I just did. I'm telling you right now the etymology. It comes from a Latin no. word. Annihilare, meaning reduced to nothing. Nah, dude, I'm telling you. Get fucked. Annihilare how did that is a word from? meaning to kill... 10% of an army, and we started doing decimate as like, oh, you fucking wiped them out. No, that's not true. That, that is, it has deci. No, it means 10%. Meaning 10. Yes, that's what I literally just said. Yeah, no, so no, one, no one says that. <laughs> I never say decimate like that. So what we've learned here is you can only say decimate. What we've learned is Luke can't listen. No, so no one says that when they say decimate. Nobody says what? No one says, oh, they got decimated. Like, no one. What? That's literally... Yes, they that's, do. No. People say... That, that's a thing that people say. That is incredibly a thing. Nobody says they got decimated when 10% gets wiped out. Yeah, but, like, a decimal point, you know, it could be more than 10. <laughs> no. Yes, but it's a decimal point. It is in the 10th place. So, Wait, you could get decimated, with... and it might even be 20%, because that is still two decimals. I don't, that, I don't think that's how that started. Like, that's not the origin. No, no, no. Which is there, there are many words. Uh, there's, like, a pair, you know? Luke is a deeply confused man. How many people can be in a pair? Two. I would say two. Google. Unless you mean the fruit and then not even one. <laughs> well, actually, I'll have you know if there's a large <laughs> enough pair. But have no. you ever heard of James and the Giant Peach? Get ready for... There are words that, like, you know, traditionally are used to symbolize, like, two people that are way more than two people, generally. Or were, when the word was created. That, that would be, you should have gone with couple. Yeah, that's what pair. I mean. Yeah, couple is the correct one. I didn't say, necessarily, that it was more than two or not. But you knew you, what I was talking about. But you did. No, no, this I is didn't. A whole, this is an exercise in you saying you didn't say things you did say. No, no, I said how many people... Also, we have video proof of what you did say. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you can look fun. it up. You can look it up and you can realize, oh, he didn't actually say that, but he, he just seemed like he was going to. Can we acknowledge that you definitely did say that thing about annihilation? That wasn't Yeah, yeah, definitely. You, you did. Maybe. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I disagree because definitely what is annihilare? That's also your, your next favorite thing. Annihilare means reduced to nothing. Yeah, it's yeah. a verb in Latin. Now, what does annihilare come from? Did you look from that up? Latin? No, no, no. But what does nihilare mean? What does it come from? It means reduced to nothing. Oh my god, that's not how word. etymology works. Google Add how etymology to works. Nihil, nothing. No. So Google how I etymology just, no. works. Add For example, means two. Nihil means yeah, nothing. Yeah, that you're not Nihilaire making your point. Re you're you're not understanding what etymology is. Like Luke, what Luke, what does nil mean? Nil. Huh, let's see. It means fuck you. This podcast has been reduced to <laughs> what, what does nil mean? <laughs> Yeah, but where does the word nil come from? Latin nihil meaning nothing. Okay, no, that's not what, no. I get what because you also to here, don't like that's like saying is, God is Luke, real because Luke, the book says God is real. It's not Luke, actually you like you're not describing you, something. You're you're like you're acting like you know like that there's a story well known of what happened of how this word came to be. Yeah, it might Latin. not have been annihilation, might have been a different word. But Unless regardless, you know the he doesn't actually know language to Latin. No, I think he's trying to say, like, the Latins coined it because the Latins had a But yeah. he said there was a place called Annihilation, and it's a word broken up into multiple Latin words, which means there would have to be a place no, no. that they expected Brendan, Brendan, was I'm not saying to... I'm not saying Luke is right. Luke is absolutely I know. Wrong. I'm telling him why he's buck yeah, wild. Yeah, but that's also, oh, you, that's you're, also, you're, 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 you're not proving your case. Way. You're actually okay, proving my great. case. So here's my thing. No, you're not, you're not proving his case. Annihilation, comes from, Annihilation comes from multiple words. 
So they would either have to have a town named just Nihil, meaning nothing, or they had to have expected that this town would get destroyed and decided <laughs> to name it, this is the town that well, will be destroyed. Why don't you look that up? What's the etymology of Nihil? <laughs> it doesn't have one because it's a Latin word and we don't know the precursor language to Latin. Now, sometimes that's true, but sometimes also not true. I think this is a good place so, to end it. Uh, what is it called, like, in the Bible when, ending, the, when the world ends? Here. There's a word for it. What is that called? Armageddon? So you know Armageddon, right? That means a mountain. Mountain Geddon. Did you know that? I'm going to look this up right now. Because okay. you were just wrong about Annihilation. I know I'm right about this one. <laughs> but again, you don't look at the description. Hope, but look up, wrong. Look up Armageddon, and then look up etymology. Specifically Armageddon etymology. is ill of. Hill of Megiddo. Yeah, so basically, Megiddo. <laughs> it's the Hill of Megiddo. Shit, that's what they call it. It's M E G I D D O. I don't actually know if it's Megiddo. I'm not well versed in my. Yeah, so basically, a mountain. It might be Megiddo? Megiddo? I don't. I'm bad at it. So basically, a mountain. It's, like, a, it's a hill in presumably. Alright, you're, you're making a molehill out of a mountain here, but. Well, you're making a mountain out of a mobile action. You're doing, you're doing that. <laughs> but you get my point. The That's the etymology of it, which sure. is what I'm talking about. That's fine. You were right about this one. You were very wrong about annihilation. Yeah, it might mean something else. It might be, like, destroyed. Maybe that's it. I don't know. It means to nothing. No, 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 but I'm, I'm saying, like, it might be, like, destroyed or a different word, you know, if it's not annihilation. If it's, like, destroyed or... Not decimate, because apparently that means one Yeah, that one definitely is one tenth. Yeah. I know that one. I believe you. I'm not going to have to Google it up. Oh, destroy is just the opposite of build. Yeah, There's yeah. There's a Latin word, but... struer, which means build, and it's destruer. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So you, you unbuild the place, which would be way more radical than saying destroy. I fucking unbuilt your town. <laughs> yeah, like, piece <laughs> by piece, I fucking, like, took out... The drywall, like, fuck you, one at a time. But isn't it funny how, like, unbuild, for example, like, you don't, like, the language isn't there yet. The history of language isn't there yet to, like, come up with a word that isn't, like, unbuilt. You know? I don't know how to otherwise Un describe. Annihilation is a word meaning that isn't unbuilt. Yeah, yeah, but like exactly reduced to nothing, but unbuild is just like funny as a. Cause it, it's, it sounds too. It sounds too like uh, too thoughtful. Yeah, it was like destroy can be destroy the, can be like super. The early languages were like way more precise with their shit. Like yeah, they were but at the same time like, they just didn't have things. meanings of this. And also, so they people were, were they really... were inventing the meanings. It was very early civilization. Yeah, but it's just funny, like, for example, c cultures that were around, like, horse, they would be like, behoof. I don't know. Behoof probably doesn't even come from a horse, but still. I'm gonna get you. Gotcha! It, it would behoof you to learn, learn what you're talking about. Is behoof a word? Yeah, yeah, it is. Behoof. Like, to yeah, behoof, behoof something. Yeah. Like, it'd be, it'd, like, it, it would behoof be, me it'd, to... It would be good. Like... Who? Like yeah, yeah, like with an H O O. Okay, that's oh no, no no that's you're hold on you're talking about the who? That's V E. Uh, oh well. The hoof would Look, be like I don't spell to I don't know, something. You could Google it and see if anything comes up. <laughs> I mean, uh, if it's not a word, it is now. That's how the English from, language works. We we make two from, words this podcast. It comes from the hall. Yeah, definitely not a horse, but I just think it's interesting. No, it, it is it is the same as. Behoof, which is just to heave. What? This that is a weird sense. word. To have need, have use for, but it also says to heave. That word is like changed to heave. A lot. Yeah, yeah, like just to like to lift. Interesting. That's a weird one. Yeah. Anyway. It's kind of like shrimp, you know? You ever heard of the word shrimp? I'm pretty shrimp. sure that's another one you just made up. 
Yeah, it is. No, it's a word I just saw. It's this guy's name. And to shrimp would be a, a shrimp, but with an O. Kind of weird. It's a shrimp with no eyes. Yeah. It's a blind shrimp. <laughs> it's a blind shrimp with an O. My god. But, like, I don't know. The English language is cool because it doesn't have any, like, decided. It's just so huh? It's. it's like it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's actually, just like Japanese. Oh, it's, it's probably more than three. Borrow word, yeah. Because you, like, you think back to school, like, the first time you see, like... Like, so you hear hors d'oeuvre before you ever see it written down, right? Yeah. yeah. And you see it written down, and you're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, and you have no idea. I mean, what was one that got, like, a bunch of people? Colonel? Like, oh my yeah. god. Dude, Colonel, my, uh... Lieutenant, like, baloney. Hors d'oeuvre. People fuck up rendezvous a lot. Yeah. My friend, who is a teacher, was talking about um, how he kept correcting his student, like, Colonel. Colonel. And he was like, yeah, Colonel. He's like, so, it was this whole, like, apparently... My buddy, the, Colin L. My, yeah, Colin L. He thought uh, KFC was, um, was racist because they got the chicken recipe from Colin L. Sanders. Wait, how would that make it racist? Because Colin L is black, but yet this white guy on the... Like, literally, this is actually like a... Like, yeah, it's racist because he stole the chicken recipe from a black person. And this is Wait, literally what is... they brought in as, like, their history Where did, assignment. Where did he get that Colin L was black? From the name Colin L. <laughs> this is a black guy. I don't know how that works. Col I, I've known more white Collins than black Collins. Colin L. Yeah, L is a, just a letter. Like, that's not, like, a particularly ethnic... Have you ever met a Colin who was a L? Who, Colin L. What? I'm just... This is what this guy's argument was. It's like, Have Colin L was black. Have you ever met a white guy black. whose name was Colin L? No. I've never heard anyone named Colin L. Then <laughs> how does it automatically mean it's racist? Because this dude <laughs> that was the is question. high on crack, obviously. But that's what his argument was. He's like, no, Colin L, let me tell you. And it's like, first of all, like, his name isn't Colin L or Colonel. That's just like a title that was given to him. Similar yeah, to how, first like, name is Colonel. it was for his duties rising through the ranks of the chicken army. So it, it's very similar to, uh, it's basically exactly the same as when someone becomes a sir or knighted you know like no one's actually knighted anymore like isn't the the beatles uh yeah there's a bad memories the beatles as an entity are one knight yes. yeah they're one <laughs> they can combine <laughs> to become the knight i was thinking of paul mccartney they're like voltron dude they're like voltron yeah hold on we hold on you were thinking you were thinking of what paul mccartney okay it didn't sound like you said paul McCartney. i was like the beetle i was thinking about it you have to give me a second name But yeah, he's a knight, so you have to say Jesus. Sir Paul McCartney, but, you know. I mean, what happens if you don't? So, is, so is Dane you'd be wrong. the female version of knighted, or is it a different thing? I think you're right. I think it is Dane. Because Judy Dench is Dane Judy Dench, but I don't know if it's like the, if it's a different honorific or if it's the same, just a different gender. But can't they also be Sir? If they See, that's what I'm asking. Know? I, I think, don't know. I think Dame is, like, outdated. If that makes sense, and now it's just both are sir. That's my guess. I can't think of a female sir. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go to bed soon. I can. Who? Uh, it's from a movie. <laughs> okay, that doesn't really count. <laughs> Movies are <laughs> generally made up. Yeah, I know. That's There's why a lot of I fiction that goes into that. That's why I didn't like try to, you know, make a good point. I was just saying I do. It's just not real. Okay, great. Anyway, this podcast should probably end. <laughs> you have to have an a extra. You have to say something. something. What, to end it? Yeah, you have no, to have no, like, We should just outro. have a cold cut, like, halfway through this conversation. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then a black sandwich. screen and leave like a black screen on the video <laughs> for like 35 minutes afterwards and people are just like, what the fuck? Just like, no, 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 even better, just make it like a little bit too long, just like a little bit uncomfortably long. Yeah, yeah. but do you remember, like 10 hours. hold on, do you re <laughs> do you remember um, back in the days yeah. of YouTube when like people were just getting started and like every video had like 10 minutes of black bars like for no reason at the end? Well, there was a reason, it's because to they get sucked. like decent monetization, you needed to hit 20 minutes. Oh yeah. I don't know if that's true. And then they changed it. No, it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about before it. there was monetization basically on YouTube, like 2006. Oh. Welcome to capitalism. There was no before monetization. I'm pretty sure when YouTube started, before it got bought out, there was no monetization. There no, were no ads. I specifically remember. There was monetization remember. before they got bought by Google. Maybe there was like a, I don't know, something in like the left hand of the screen, but there was definitely not ads, like video ads. By the way, fuck video ads. Fuck videos, dude. Dude, fuck them. When are you gonna beam content into my mind? It's happening. Uh, what's his name from Tesla? He's gonna do it. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Musk. Yeah. He just is Tesla. That's his name. Yeah. Elon Mr. Tesla. Tesla. Mr. Tesla and no, Mr. No, no. Tesla, Tesla. His Musk first name is Tesla. Tesla. His last name is Tesla. Tesla, Tesla. Like uh, Dr. Octopus? His, well, his first name's Otto. His first name isn't Octavius. His last name's Octavius. Otto Octavius. Yeah, but what makes him Dr. Octopus? He has eight limbs. Does he really, though? Yes, he I has mean, I thought he there has were only human two. limbs and four robotic limbs. The robotic one's, like, fused to his person. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's yeah. still, like, the way the limbs are, that wouldn't make him an octopus. Okay. okay, so is Spider-Man, like, actually a fucking spider? No, but he's Spider-Man. He's not Octopus-Man. Batman doesn't have a dash, and what? he's not a fucking bat. <laughs> yeah, but that's his persona, and he also has Bat-Man. He's not... Wow, you know what would be, you also, know what'd be interesting also... for a villain? You know what would be really interesting? Is if he had some sort of, I don't know, fucking persona. Also, I don't think Doc Ock picked his name. He goes by Doc Ock because his name is... Dr. Octavius. Yeah, yeah, but he's, he's literally like, people call him Dr. Octavius. And J. Jonah Jameson picked his name. Yeah, but people literally call him Dr. Octopus. Maybe what? someone yes, else because called his him. identity isn't exactly a secret, and everyone already knew him as Doc Ock, so it kind of worked out to call him Dr. Octopus. Imagine, he had eight what, if, what if his last name was, like, Harold? Then, then maybe he wouldn't be Doc Ock. Yeah. Then he would be Dr. Harold. <laughs> yes, that is how names work. Yeah, yeah, but like they wouldn't have like a special name. See, I think it would be called Octoman, don't you? It's definitely possible. Because that would make more sense. Because it's like a hyphenation. It's like half octopus. Although, an octopus man hybrid would be some of the scariest shit you've ever seen. Can we end this podcast? There's something very important we're touching on just now. So I'm There's gonna nothing hang important. Up. There's nothing Listen, important happening at all. If a viewer has made it this far, I, I, I mean, I thank you, and uh, yeah, I don't know. So Good night. Good octopi. Day. Here's the thing about the Good octopi, eye. right? Is that their entire body is brain. Like they, it's brain. They don't have a centralized, you know, brain. So their whole body is like brain. That's all I'm trying to say. That's not necessarily accurate. They do have neurons in their limbs, but they do still have a centralized brain. I mean, they definitely don't. It's not centralized. No, no, they do. They have a central brain. They just also have neurons in their arms. Yeah, but, like, the idea of, like, would you say a city is centralized? No. What? I'm saying they have a brain entity and also neurons in their arms. Ah, uh, not really. No, I mean, like, actually... No, no, have you ever seen them, like, squeeze? They definitely don't have, like... They don't. Like, their entire body is their brain. That's how it works. You can Google it. It's really interesting. Yeah, you know, let me read this to you right now. A central brain controls the nervous system. In addition, there is a small brain in each of their eight arms. Yeah, so what happens if their head gets cut off? They can still live. Yes, I'm saying they still have a central brain, and they also have neurons in their arms. 
I don't know, man. I think I do. I do know. Well, what I I'm know. Saying. What I'm saying is, I do know you could cut an octopus's brain out, and it would still live. Okay. Thanks for listening, if you are indeed still listening, and we will see you.